Well, uh, welcome to a very rainy day at Cedar Point. So we are here today to kind of just hang out at the Frontier Festival, which kicks off in about an hour. And uh, I'm currently sitting in my car trying to see if this is going to pass at all or not. I honestly might just be uh, braving the storm here. And I mean, it's not really a storm, it's just heavy rain, but I might I might just be uh, running through it to get into the park and then seeking shelter. Or, or as you can hear, the rain's getting heavier live as I'm speaking right now. So we might just be sitting out here for a few minutes until it lightens up a little bit but today this is the unofficial part three to my frontier festival vlog now part one was the creator day part two is the frontier nights today is the frontier festival i've got all kinds of tickets in my back seat so if this rain wants to stop we can get out get into the park but for right now it is absolutely pouring so i am not moving my butt out of this car at least for a few more minutes until this decides it's ready to pass all right, looks like the heavy rain may have just passed and it's only a little sprinkle now, so I think it's safe to finally get out of the car, get into the park. I don't know if this means good luck, but it probably wouldn't be a full day at Cedar Point if you didn't get shit on by a bird. Ooh. So welcome to the 2022 Frontier Festival. At Cedar Point. At Cedar Point. So basically what this is, is it's, I've, ta I've talked about it a little bit in my first vlog where I did the Creator Day. This is basically Prayers from Maria and they're actually, their booth is right behind me, but you get these tasting tickets that I have around my neck right now. You can exchange them for beers, for food, and for basically for goods that they have going on for the entirety of the Frontier Festival. So today, we are here to check out everything. I've already got my first beer of the day, which is a sour ale. I do like beer sours. And uh, yeah, we're just going around and kind of sampling everything because I wanted to do like an unofficial part three to my Creator Day vlog. So that's what today is going to be, is going to be the Frontier Festival and everything that they have going on, offering these foods, these drinks, and checking everything out, tasting and sampling everything, and it's gonna be a great time. Are you excited? I am. Let's go. What I'm sipping on right now is a Red Martian sour beer that can be found at one of the belly washer stands. So we're gonna be go checking out all of the belly washer stands today and checking out what food options there are available too. So if you watched my preview event vlog, you would know I got to try these cherry cola cupcakes with the cheesecake frosting, and these things were absolutely delicious. You ready to try one? Oh yes, I am. Let's go. So these are the cherry cola cupcakes and they give you these little shots worth of cherry cola to inject the cupcakes with. I tried these in my preview event vlog, so go check that out. That will be probably in a little card right up here somewhere on one of these sides of the screen. I was super excited about these cupcakes. I'm really excited to get to try them out again, so let's do this. This is absolutely delicious, guys. This is good. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. They're so good never had anything like this before. I know, it's like it's like a cherry cream um, cream cheese frosting with the cherry on top, but you inject that cola into it and it just adds another level of like flavor to the actual cupcake. It's another level of perfection. Yeah, it's really, really good. The nice thing about these cupcakes is that they pair very well with a sour beer. So you get the rich cupcakiness with a nice contrast in the sour beer. It pairs very, very well together. Hit up one of the belly washer stands and then go hit up the engine company for your cherry cola cupcakes because they are a great pairing. Belly washer number two, cherry lime seltzer. And it's nice and refreshing, it is. It does it just taste like cherry lime. And uh, I'm a seltzer person, I do really enjoy seltzers. So right up my alley. And I think it's a local brewery that they have this one through, so kind of supporting local by getting their seltzer. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but it tastes delicious. So how were your cupcakes? Very, very good. They were very good. And it's kind of like we're eating uh, dessert before we ever eat any other food, but those things are just so good. I wouldn't even mind getting them again today if we could, but we're gonna go check out some of the food options that they have. I really want to locate that donut cheeseburger that they have. If you guys watched the preview vlog. Uh, that was one of the food items that they were showing off but not sampling and I do really really want to try it because it's a cheeseburger. I think it's a bacon cheeseburger that they have donuts for the buns. So we're on it the hunt huge. for that. It is huge. 
So we're on the hunt for that and we're gonna go try to locate that. And you wanna make that the next stop if we can find it? Yep. All right, let's do it. So if you are in the market for tasting tickets, they are $59.99 for 10 or $39.99 for six. I do wanna throw another little disclaimer. They were given to me for free for being a creator on Creator Day. Again, not sponsored by Cedar Point, but compensated handsomely in terms of freebies from Cedar Point. So I really can't complain. This is what I'm excited for, the glazed donut bacon cheeseburger, but I'm really curious to try these cherry buffalo chicken tenders as well. So we've got the donut bacon cheeseburger right here, and we got the cherry buffalo tenders. I'm honestly, I don't know which one I'm more excited for. You got the donut burger as oh, well. I'm so excited for it. I'm really excited to try the donut burger because, you know, sweet and salty go together really great, but these ones are pretty exciting looking, so let's try them out. All right, donut bacon cheeseburger. Oh my gosh. That's really interesting. Oh, it's a glazed donut too. Yeah. It's different. It is different. I do like it a lot. That's actually pretty good. I'll take it. You know, I really wish I'd add this to the men menu. Oh, and, try a minute, you? Yep. Mm -hmm. And the cupcakes. Oh, the cupcakes are great. These are also pretty great. It's definitely a hand washer. Like this is something I'm gonna have to go wash my hands after eating because it's very uh messy and sticky i can already feel my hands getting all kinds of sticky so all right donut bacon cheeseburger that's a win that is really really good but let's try these uh cherry buffalo chicken tenders they just look like regular buffalo tenders but i do immediately notice like uh there is a cherry flavor there you want a bite you don't like hot stuff nope and the chicken tenders themselves are pretty good so the sauce makes it even better now this is something I wish they would keep you around because this is delicious. Like these tenders might low-key be better than the burger. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are really, really good. These tenders are delicious, but they're actually kind of spicy. Like, don't get me wrong. Oop, I got donut glaze on my nose, but I like spicy stuff. I love buffalo sauce. And this, the sauce that they have on these tenders is delicious. I mean, it tastes like buffalo, but it's definitely got a cherry flavor to it, which is fantastic. I mean, really. Cherry and buffalo are two things I never thought would go together, but they do go together very well. These tenders, I think I like them better than the burger, but they are hot. Definitely recommend getting a drink with them. I already drank my other seltzer, so so I have no drink, but these are absolutely delicious. What do you think of the donut burger? It's really good. It is really, really good. I mean, like the bacon, the burger, the cheese, it all contrasts deliciously with the donut. Best burger Cedar Point's ever had. Really? You think so? Best burger Cedar Point's ever had. And you know what? I don't really, I'm not a burger person when I come to an amusement park. Now there are exceptions to the rule like Coasters Drive-In and there is Johnny Rockets. But those are two places I don't usually visit when I come out to the park. So I'm not usually a burger person when I come to the amusement park. But if they would add that as like a permanent menu addition, that's something that I would probably get on the regular. So these are a win, the burger is a win. Pretty successful uh, food event that they've got going on here on the Frontier Trail at Cedar Point. Belly washer number three after eating some food. This is an apple ale and it does have a very nice fruity flavor. So I will take this one. So this is a Rheingeist brew, which comes out of Cincinnati. And I love that I'm really good at color matching my beers to the color of these little tables right here. So it kind of blends in, but it's got a really nice flavor so apple ale but it does have a very nice fruity flavor and ales are kind of my thing like if I'm gonna get a beer typically I'm gonna order an ale so this is right up my alley overall this is a huge foodie event here at the park so if you're into like different foods trying out different foods trying out different beers this is definitely an event that you should probably try to get out to before it ends here at the end of the month jake had a good point earlier you said something about that you wish this was something that they would do like all season throughout the entire park and it is kind of cool that they do limit it to like the frontier trail but this i kind of agree would be a really really cool event if they would do it like year round and just offer like these sampling cards like i said i did get these for free but these do run for 10 tickets 60 dollars which is a pretty fair price considering each of these items would typically cost you about five dollars or more and well, without the burger was easily a twelve dollar yeah item. so i mean like you're getting a fair value out of these tickets because if you would factor in the cost of what they would normally be if they were just regular food items you're spending about as much as you would on a thing of cards that you would on a thing 
at any other restaurant or vendor in the park. So definitely come check this out because these tasting cards are totally worth it and you get a lot of cool different foods and a lot of cool different alcohols that you can sample. And when I say sample, it's not like you're getting a small portion. I mean, this is an eight ounce pour for one ticket. You get a whole food item for one ticket. I mean, like it's a pretty good value. Like I'm not mad about it at all. This is a really, really neat event. Really, really enjoy it. And uh, we're just kind of vibing, having a good time. That's all, that's all it's about. You know, you come out to Cedar Point, you want to have a good time. There's never a bad day at Cedar Point, even when it's raining like it is right now. Belly washer number four. This one is a grapefruit seltzer. And that tastes like grapefruit. That tastes like you're literally drinking grapefruit juice. Drinking from cups is apparently a, a hard thing for me to do. No, this literally tastes like you just squeezed the fruit out of a grape juice. It tastes like you just squeezed the juice out of a grapefruit and like put it in a cup. That is absolutely delicious. That is a winner for me. That that might be something I come back to get another one of these of, so. What do you think of the Frontier Festival? It's fun. It is fun. It's a really cool event that they put on and it's for a good cause. It's for uh, Prayers for Maria, which I talked a little bit about in my uh, Creator Day vlog. Now, that's a childhood cancer foundation. So they basically, it's more or less like a sponsored event, kind of like a fundraiser for, for Prayers for Maria um, to basically fight childhood cancer. So. It's a really, really neat event that they're putting on. And there's a bug on my screen. And this is something that um, I do wish would run kind of all season because it brings a lot of life to the Frontier Town area of the park. Not that the Frontier Town area of the park is lacking any other time of the year, but definitely something cool that they put on. Um, and I hope that it's something that they continue to bring back every year because it is a really, really neat event. This weather right now really doesn't know how to make up its mind. It's going between rain and sun and rain and sun. And it's like, no, you're not having a good time. I mean, I'm having a good time. That's what I thought, Jake. Yeah, no, the rain kind of sucks. Now, I am a bit of a pluviophile, so I don't mind being a Cedar Point in the rain because they do typically have everything open except for Maverick behind us, which is currently not operating. But Steel Vengeance is going, all the other rides are going, and you know, I mean, a little bit of rain, as long as it's not thundering or lightning, isn't slowing anything down, but I'm on belly washer number five. I got another grapefruit like I just got. Let's taste test it again just for funsies. And that is delicious. I absolutely love grapefruit. It's one of my favorite fruits of all time. But uh, the seltzer, it tastes just like you're drinking the juice straight from a grapefruit. It is delicious. So it's a win-win in my book. Even the weather might be sappy, but that's okay because we're having a happy giggle juice here at the Frontier Festival at Cedar Point where every day is a good day. There's never a bad day at Cedar Point, no matter what you do. Belly washer number six. This is a strawberry blonde and look who we found. How's it going guys? Do you want to shout yourself out? Oh, Coaster Crew. Coaster Crew. Yeah. Yes, so this is Tim, he's from Coaster Crew. We're just kind of vibing at the Frontier Festival. We are about to go get a ride on Magnum, right? Best roller coaster ever built. That's Jake's opinion, and you know what? Um, it kind of stands true. Magnum is my other baby. Now, those of you who've watched the channel for a while know Raptor's my baby, but Magnum is my second baby. So absolutely just a fantastic coaster every single time. It's never given me a bad ride. So it's something that I can ride all the time. And it's something that I always look forward to every single time I come to Cedar Point is getting a ride on Magnum. So let's go do this. Let's drink a beer and let's have a good time. Quick pit stop on Gemini real fast. The line's at five minutes, so we might as well. First ride of the day too, actually, considering we've been here for, how long have we been here, Jake? Uh, oh. It started raining at one o'clock, so one o'clock. So I got here like right as the rain started at one o'clock and we were just not riding our first ride of the day. So let's go. Awesome. There's something about that first drop on Gemini that just gets me every single time. I don't know if it's because the ride was designed without computer-aided drafting or what it was, because that's a hand-built roller coaster right here on the Gemini. Something about that first drop. No, we rode in the back row, so we kind of got hauled over it, but it makes my stomach go up into my throat every single time. And it's great. I love it, but it's just such a fun feeling <laughs> um, to almost like <laughs> every time. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it's doing it. So we kind of decided to ditch the Frontier Festival to go hang out at the rest of the park. So after a successful lunch at Backbeat, a ride on Magnum, and a ride on Windseeker, we are officially headed to Gatekeeper. So excited because I love Gatekeeper. You like Gatekeeper, Jake? Yeah, it's fun. You like Gatekeeper? I do, I love it. Gatekeeper is such a good ride and it's only got like a five minute wait right now. So there's, it's a doer. If Gatekeeper is a short wait, it's a doer. You gotta love it. Enjoy your ride on Gatekeeper. I about getting into line for Raptor at this point in the night is that you know it's not too early and it's not so late that everyone who's leaving the park is coming to ride it at the same time so you can hit it in perfect time and then there's like no wait behind us so Shh, don't tell them the secret <laughs> that's one insider tip though hit Raptor sometime in the evening but not before the park closes because that's how you get the shortest line of the day. As you can see, we're kind of just walking right up into the station. There goes the floor, you guys are out the door, you're great the door with Raptor. Come back. Come on, Riders, please take this time to secure your loose value articles. What are we doing, Jake? Riding Iron Dragon. No, we're right, we're credit whoring. Well, yeah, that too. And you know, it's not like we don't already have the credit, but but we're, we're just kind of kind of vibing. Hey, Given, when I first started working at Cedar Point, Iron Dragon was my favorite roller coaster. I bet it was. I was too afraid to ride everything you still, I mean, you still think Blue Streak is like well, the best coaster ever built. She is. No. Blue Streak and Magnum number kind of. Well, Magnum's a more understandable one, but Blue Streak, no. Then after Blue Streak and Magnum, it goes right to Wicked Twister. Anyway, that's Jake's uh, hot takes for today. And look who we found again, it's Russ. So we got rows 11 and 12, and I feel like every time I've ridden it so far this season, I've gotten rows 11, 12, 13, or 14. They're not sending anybody in the rows behind us because I don't know why, but no, I've ridden this like three or four times this season, and every single time I've gotten assigned to the back rows, so, you know, good vibes. Back and forth, we're going to right to the complete stop. Please keep hands on the and we'll keep the all time. I think my point still stands. The bat at Kings Island is miles better than Iron Dragon, but there's only like five of these coasters left in the world, so whatever. Um, hi. Hi. How was your ride on Iron Dragon? It was good, it's fun. How was your ride on Iron Dragon? It was good. But now it is time for Rougarou, the tallest, longest, fastest, floorless coaster in the state of Ohio, I guess. Actually, uh, I think it was longer. But that's a wing coaster. This is the only floorless coaster in Ohio, if we're being logistical about it. It is, it, you know what, it's it's a fair temperature day, but the weather can't seem to make up its mind because it was raining a little bit earlier, then it was sunny, then it was raining again, and in between it got like really cold, then really hot, then really cold, and now it's like hot again, and it's almost too uncomfortable with this long sleeve shirt I've got going on. But then who's to say the, the sun won't go away and then it'll get cold again? So, I mean, you know, weather in Ohio in June's kind of weird, but it is what it is. It's It feels fine out for right now, but. The other thing I love about Rougarou any time of day unless it's mega mega busy never has the line so you can easily just walk right onto the ride and kind of just get a ride and not have to worry about waiting more than a train or two to get on so it's a good ride to come and hit in between bigger thrills like millennium force or maverick or anytime you're on this midway i would still say rougarou is a doer i wouldn't say it's a marathonable coaster by any means but it's still a fun coaster nonetheless
Tyler. Oh my God. Steel Vengeance is better than You pop up at the end of my vlog. Millennium Force is the best ride in Ohio. We did get last ride of the night on Vengeance, last full train of the night on Vengeance. We tried to wait around and see if we could get the official last ride, but they kind of sent more people after us. So we kind of got last ride of the night on Vengeance, but it was still a great ride. What's up, Tyler? Can I be in your vlog? Yeah, you can be in my vlog. Wow. We're finishing it off for the day. So this was more, like I said, like a part three to my Creator Day vlog. Um, you'll see the Bye. Frontier Nights vlog. See ya. You'll see the Frontier Nights vlog before you'll see this one, but this was kind of like the answer to, I wanted to check out everything that the Frontier Festival that we're here in Frontier Town, um, I said that really weird. I wanted to check out the Frontier Festival that here in Frontier Town everything was going on. So um, this is my first time trying, really getting to experience the full thing, but um, no, it was, it was fun. It was good. We got a couple rides in here towards the end of the night. The weather cleared up. Now it's beautifully sunny. There's not a single cloud in the sky versus when I got here, like when it was downpouring rain, but it was really nasty earlier, but this was a really good night to kind of end everything off. So um, I would say this was a success. Um, the Frontier Festival is a really, really neat event that I recommend to everybody. And I hope it's something that they continue to bring back in the future because it is a really, really cool event with lots of cool food and lots of cool drinks and lots of good vibes. So with that being said, I don't really have anything else for tonight's vlog. So that's going to be where I end this for the night. But until next time, this has been Given. I'm signing off and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep on keeping on and peace out. Way to end the night with a pipe scream, Valley. So there's your answer, May 26th to June 19th. Get out to the Frontier Festival before it's over.